Okay, now we're going to do a compression test on this motor now that it's running and it's warmed up. Go ahead and remove your coil packs. Number one and two will pull straight up. Number three and four, you're going to have to disconnect the harness on them. Okay, next we're going to remove all the spark plugs on all four cylinders. They're going to be hot. They're going to be hot. I might want a glove or something. Okay, next we're going to hook our compression hose up to number one cylinder. Just hand tighten it. It's not going to be torqued down. Next we'll hook our compression gauge up to the hose. Okay, next we're going to remove our fuel pump fuse. And we're going to disconnect our cam angle sensor plug. Okay, now we're going to get in the car and start it. You want to turn the car over five or six revolutions with the gas pedal all the way to the floor. Okay, we have 165 PSI on this one. Standard is 150, so we're good on this one. We'll go to number two now. Okay, you want to release the air out. And we'll hook up number two. It's the exact same procedure. Okay, now we'll do the same thing. Gas pedal all the way to the floor, five, six revolutions. Okay, we have 160 PSI on this one, so it's good as well. Move on to number three. We have 160 PSI on this one as well. So this one's good. We'll move on to number four. Same procedure. Gas away floor, five to six revolutions. We have 165 PSI on this one, so this one is good as well. Like I said, standard is 150, 151 PSI. Anything below that is bad.